What are you doing? I'm wondering about the difference of these two glasses, but I think there is no difference. There is a difference. You can't see it, but I can explain to you. One of the two glasses is a chemically tempered glass. Chemically tempered glass? What does that mean? Chemical tempered glass means that it is more robust. It's more robust against impact and scratches. Oh really? That is possible? Yes, it is. Look at this. This is a two millimeter glass only. Try to drop the ball. Oh no, the glass will break. No, it won't. Trust me. Just try it. Okay. Wow, it's amazing. How does it work? The basic principle is called ion exchange. Let me try to explain. What we see here is the principle of the glass. We have inside of the glass, we have sodium ions. Now the idea behind chemical tempering is that you put the glass into a bath of molten potassium. As you can see, potassium ions are larger than uh, sodium ions. Now in this bath, the potassium ions will exchange with the sodium ions. Due to this exchange of the ions, there will be a compressive stress inside of the glass. Now, glass is much more ro robust against compression than against tension. Now, if we try to tearing apart the glass, we will first need to work against this compression. And only after we surf past this compression, we will actually break the glass. So we can bend the glass further until it breaks? Exactly. After chemical tempering, the glass will be three times more robust in terms of breaking strength. Also, it will be more robust to impact and to scratches and temperature shock as well. And that's, the why, that's why the glass didn't break when I dropped the metal ball? Exactly. But the chemical tempering is not the only thing with an impact on the strength of the glass. Another important thing is the edge work. So this is due to something called micro cracks. When we cut the glass at the edge, we will have very tiny cracks called micro cracks. Now, if we, after the cutting, polish the edge, we will have a much more homogeneous surface. This is why the glass strength will increase. And you should always, when you have a very tough environment, use a polished edge. Okay, thank you for the important hint. I saw your last video about the different raw materials. Can I buy every glass with a chemical tempering? Most commonly used for chemical tempering are standard float glass or anti-glare glass, like our Eagle Edge. If you need an anti-reflective coating in combination with the chemically tempered glass, we will first do the chemical tempering and then the anti-reflective coating afterwards. Actually, if you want to get the most out of the chemical tempering, there is a material very specially designed for these purposes. It's called aluminum silicate glass. Aluminum silicate glasses have a special composition where this ion exchange will work particularly well and it will be even more robust than a chemically tempered standard float glass. Okay, and for what kind of application do you use chemical tempered glass? Chemically tempered glass is used everywhere where it's important that you have a robust glass. So displays in rough environments will be chemically tempered. For example, construction machines or glasses in agriculture. Also, where we need lightweight glass, it's widely used because you can get a chemically tempered glass from 0.5 millimeter. Okay, thank you for the explanation. It's amazing that the glass can be used be soon.